Be confident in Philippian Jesus Christ is a confident thing. So I'm saying Philippians one uh, chap chapter one verse six saying being confident of this very thing, he that begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. And what I'm dealing with today, I'm dealing with are you confident of this very thing? Are you confident of this very thing? Or how confident are you about this thing? This thing is called salvation is a confident assurance. Are you sure about your salvation? Friend, I can tell you today that I am sure of the salvation. I'm sure that Jesus Christ is a savior of the universe. I am sure that there is a heaven and there is a hell. I'm sure if I die today, destiny, not doom, but destiny, not doom. Destiny is either heaven or hell. But I'm sure, I am sure, being confident of this very thing, that he that begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. What you're saying? I'm saying today, are you sure that you are saved? Are you sure that if you die today, heaven is going to be your home or hell and a lake of fire going to be your home? What would you what would you say if you stand in front of the maker? What would you what would you, your your excuse be why you, you wasn't sure? I'm sure today, my friend. So every time that you ascribe to my video, I'm shown to the proof that being confident of this very thing, he that begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. The day of Jesus Christ is any day now, any moment, any second, any minute, any hour. Don't be like that foolish virgin that had a, a lamp, but then they had no oil in that lamp. <laughs> are you? Are you are you seeing what I'm saying? I'm saying to you that you you you've been in church. You built and you've been in in the presence of God and never experience the maker never grasp the importance of Jesus Christ so don't be like a fan to cheer on Jesus but not a follower to get baptized in the Holy Spirit what I'm saying that you are you on the sideline looking in are you on the sideline cheering Jesus when the opportunity come for you to grasp him, for you to say, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the savior of the universe. Being confident of this very thing, he that begun a good work in you, that's the problem. Uh, do we have the good work in us? The good work is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the good work in us, and he will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. Don't be a surprise by saying, oh, my Lord, hmm, I should have, I should have. They know should have, could have, nothing. You, you have the opportunity to say, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the savior of my soul. That's the problem in our society. We are in the building, but we're not in the one that built us. See, Jesus Christ built tough. He want us, We when we experience Jesus Christ, he make us build tough for trial and tribulation. In our society right now, people just just are fan for Jesus. They're not followers of Jesus. In, 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 in St. John, the sixth chapter, when Jesus Christ said, drink the blood of the Son of Man and eat his flesh, they say this is a hard thing. How can this man give us his flesh to eat and his blood to drink? But Jesus was going to spirituality. He was saying that the Son of Man, he's going to die on the cross and he's going to shed his blood for your, for our remission of sin. So I'm telling you, while you're watching this, 
that are you confident of this very thing? He that begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. Because if, if in our Ephesians 2 verse 8 say, For by grace are I saved through faith and not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of work, lest any man should boast. So, so we are saved not according to works. We are saved according to his grace. The unmerited favor to the undeserving person. You are undeserving person, but God has favored you. God has favored you to save you. And believe me, my friend, you are saved until the day of redemption. The day of redemption is when God rapture his glorious church. The church without a spot or wrinkle. And how do you get your spot removed? You get your spot removed by constantly praying, constantly seeking God's face, constantly saying, Lord, here am I, Lord. Don't be like the Pharisees that, 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 that criticized the man and criticized how he paid his tithes and offering. He's not an extortioner. He's not a robber. He's not like this man. But the, the, the Republicans say, Lord, have mercy on me. What I'm saying, I'm sure, I'm confident of this very thing, that he that begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the savior of the world. He's not just a pigment of my mag imagination. He's not just a myth. He's not a picture that has been posted on the wall, but he's reality. He is a spirit that dwell in man, to save man from sin, to save man from the doom. That's why John 3.16 is a very important scripture. It's not just a, a, a poster board with words written, but it says, For God so loved the world. But above that, he say that as Moses lifted the serpent in the wilderness, even so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. The whosoever belief on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world, God so loved you, that he gave his own begotten Son, that whosoever believed on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. My friend, what I'm saying to you that God loves you. God don't want to be perished. The devil wants you to be perished. The devil want to present sex to you. He want to present drugs to you. He want to present alcohol to you. He want to, send, he want to present pleasure to you. So, so what I'm saying to you all, the devil is a great master miner. He wanted to paint a good picture. He said the grass is green on the other side. And as soon as you get across the fence, he turned the grass brown. What I'm saying is he's a slickster. He's a, he's a deceiver. He's a duper. He, he just wants you to, 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 to be in fantasy. The fantasy island, my friend, being confident. Of this very thing. The very thing is we we believe, I believe. God without faith is impossible to please God. He that cometh to God must first believe that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. My friend, you got to have faith. Without faith, you can't please God. You gotta believe that God is a savior of your soul, He's a savior of the universe. The Bible says, every eye shall see him, even that pierced him on the side. My friend, I'd rather bow now than bow later. I'd rather confess now than confess later. Because if you confess later, it'd be too late. If you bow later, it'd be too late. But if you bow now, you can be saved. If you confess now, you can be saved. Being confident of this very thing. He that begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. If God save you, he want to save you to the end. He doesn't want to save you just for a quick fix like drugs, a quick fix like sex. But God, Jesus want to save you to the end. Because the Bible says, grieve not the spirit of God whereby we are sealed unto the day of redemption. So we are sealed we are sealed a mark, a mark that will mark us until the day of the rapture, until the day when it say 
Well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful of a few things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. What I'm, what I'm telling you, my friend, we are sealed unto the day of redemption. The day of redemption could be a glorious day for those that are waiting for his return. And for those that is not waiting for, the, for his return, they're going to be doomed, damned, and destroyed. But my friend, today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Don't accept him later, but accept him now. It's an A, B, C, D deliverance. A, acknowledge that he's Savior. He's here to save you. B, he's the bishop of your soul. He's a beginning. He wants you to bow and see. He wants you to confess that he's Lord. He's Lord of Lord and King of King. And D, he wants to deliver you. He wants to deliver you from your sin, deliver you from your demonic influences. He wants to deliver you right now. And E, he's an ending. He's an end. He's an end as well as beginning. God can save you, my friend, if you are willing. And F, he's a father. He's a father. He's a father want to father you right now. And he's a G, he's a good God. He's an H, he's an I priest. So I'm saying to you that he that begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. So give Jesus Christ your life right now while you have an opportunity because I'm confident of this very thing. It's not just a play thing. It's not a Sunday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's not just a ceremonial thing that Sunday I take it off and I, Sunday I put it on and Monday I take it off and Tuesday I take it off and Wednesday I take it off and Thursday I take it off and Friday I take it off and, and Saturday I clubbing and Sunday I put it on. No, this thing is an everyday thing. This is a 24-7 thing. Being confident of this very thing. He that begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. My friend, it's going to be a day of Jesus Christ. What would you do? What would you say to the Savior? If the Savior asks you, why should I let you into my kingdom? What would you be? What would your response be? You can't be speechless because you're going to say that, listen, life and death in a power tongue. And they that love the fruit thereof. So I'm saying, if you confess him now, because if you confess him later, be too late. Don't be like the foolish virgin. Be like the wise virgin. They had a lamp and they had oil. The oil represent the Holy Spirit. We all have a lamp. But all of us don't have oil in the lamp. A lot of us have a lamp. But don't want to purchase the oil. See, Jesus Christ already purchased our salvation. But we take the salvation for granted. We just attend in church for, just for a show so people won't call you a pagan. We carry our Bible as being piety. But being confident, being assured of this very thing. Salvation is this very thing. He'd have begun a good work in you. If God saved you, he saved you for a purpose. He didn't save you just to save you. He saved you to, for you to share your experience with others that Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is a savior because he saved me. My friend, being confident of this very thing, he'd have begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day.